All right, hello YouTube. Today's video, we're going to be talking about the Korg Nano Control. This is the next step up from the Nano Pad, which you know I was using a couple months ago. But this is the new, latest, and greatest, and there's some added features. Uh, mainly features that are added. So now you have faders. You have 18 buttons instead of 12. You got knobs. Uh, the axis pad is no more, but you got a couple you know nifty buttons here to replace that you still got four scenes so again this video is the main focus of this is going to be the nano control pad with serato so we'll go through that i'll tell you how i got it set up see if you like it try it out if not well whatever so um you know right here where i have this nano pad with my dj setup again this is normally where i have it mounted not up on the keyboard because you don't want it on a keyboard because it might drop and fall on your equipment while you're DJing, hit a needles no fun and right here it's actually easier to use you can do some fun mixes it's out of the way it's very convenient and you can just get to everything real fast and again quick note on mapping um, I talked about in my last video how to MIDI map it's really easy just go to MIDI right here in Serato click that click on whatever button you want to map hit hold down the control key on your keyboard and push the button to map it really easy really fast all right so let me go through the buttons and how I have this set up real quickly then I'll show you what with, uh, with it in Serato um, alright the first button here the left button I use to bring up my sample players I'm in Serato 1.6.9 it gives you the six sample players plus an ABCD bank which is a total of 24 players I only really operate with the six players you know it's easy to route songs to you know just call it up whatever and um, next button will bring up the prepare menu and again the idea behind this um, the button below it is add to prepare the thought about this is you want to keep all your buttons consistent so you know I have the sample player here the prepare menu here and right under it it's add to prepare so you don't have to think a lot while you're doing it um, the third button here is my browse function so you'll be able to see that brings up the browse menu second one will bring up the prepare menu let's get that so you can see it prepare sample players browse and fourth button record that is set to record here and this button here is my files button so if you need to find a song on your computer just hit that really quick to search all right um one through six I have set up for the sample player so let me call up my sample player here and I have you know one through six banks is going to be dedicated to the sample player so when I bring the knobs up you'll see my faders are moving as well with the knobs let me zoom out a little bit here so if you can see it in Serato here so it's really really nifty looks cool and the top row one through six is the play buttons and the stop buttons um, the knobs on the top is the gain control for each of the sample players so see if you can see it there see it rolling so alright so that's that now um, oh quick note I forgot to tell you guys scenes I keep my setup on scene 3 scene 2 I have set up for internal player scene 3 is my regular player and the reason I have that on scene 3 is because if you're DJing and you go to a party you get another DJ they are not familiar with the nano control and they accidentally hit a button you might switch up their song they might not be happy about that so you know you go to a party you know what you throw it on scene 3 for you to use anybody else comes through and you know just put it on a different scene and nothing happens and you know life goes on so scene 3 is where I have mine set alright um, where was I now let's talk about the bottom row I'll get to seven eight and nine in just a second but um, the bottom row of buttons the first one through four I have set up to be my cue points on my left deck so I will play that for you in just a second but I'll tell you where everything is first button number five does nothing okay six seven eight and nine on the bottom row are my one through four cue points on the right deck so and I have those set up from right to left so this is Q point one two three four and on the other side this is Q one two three four really easy to get used to your brain like 
it just works it's pretty simple for me you know five minutes playing you know everything you don't have to think about anything it's just it's it's money I like it um, all right seven eight and nine I have set up to be the auto loop on and off which is set to 16 beats this is for my left deck and number eight is for the right deck okay um, and I only had if you remember my last video on the nano card I had these different buttons set to like 16 um, 32 and maybe 40 the I don't remember but you know I had this is the on and off and the loop rule which can scroll through all your different loops I don't know if you can see it scrolling there so all you really need to do is turn it on and then you can pick the long the loop that you want so that's really convenient um, button number nine is my tab focus and you know this knob here just scrolls up and down the list so um, so that's that's really it for those um, these three faders you know don't do anything so that's how I have uh, my Korg nano pad show up and uh, let me just throw the record on here and I'll quickly uh, show you guys how it works and uh, all right. so okay let's see here my first one cue points here zoom out a little bit Okay. and my sample player you can call those up you know you can hit play on it stop the record here so you can hear it zoom in and this is really this is really convenient because sometimes it's really loud and you know if you got two records playing and you know you turn it on the loop is just up so this gives you control over your sample players which is really convenient so it's something to think about so um, again let me turn this off see if you can see it there so if you wanted to use your sample players use that to turn it on let me zoom in here and again you hit the button to turn your volume up hit the button to play it and see you can slide it up and down so this works for each of your six sample players you know for each of your knobs so that's how I set it up so um you know Try it out. Let me know what you think. And uh, this is the Cord Nano Control for that's being used with Serato. All right. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit me up with any questions. Good luck.